Hello and welcome to the Haunty Steam Railway. This is the first of our monthly updates as you'll see here on YouTube. And also we do have some major updates what's been going on here as of late and also what's been going on elsewhere. So, so what have I been doing during this national lockdown since January? Well, this will give you a massive giveaway. Yes, we do have a model railway at last. It's finally arrived during this current national lockdown, just in time before, during the making of this video, the stay home rule comes to an end on the 29th of March. <clears throat> this has been three years in the making for this project. The layout, as you can see here, is seven feet long and is width by three feet, which, upon my request, since it's going right up against the wall, it could be reached within an arm's length, as you can see here. Of course, uh, I'll give you a little bit more detail of the layout tour and also what's been going on while being off air since December, with, apart from the compilations I released. So, let's go and have a look at the layout. Okay, we're bringing it a little bit closer to the layout and uh, see what's been going on here. Of course, the layout arrived on Friday, on Friday evening, as I just mentioned. And um, what you see here is a draft idea of where things are going to go. We're doing it. Some of these buildings, as you can see here, are only temporarily before the buildings I'm due to be acquiring over the coming months will take their places. Of course, some of the, air, some of the vehicles, as you see here, are a little giveaway of what we're gonna do. Now, where you can see here with Flying Scotsman and Sir Keith Park, this is where it's going to be the engine shed I intending on doing. Now the water towers <coughs> and the crane there are only temporarily, as I'm planning on getting a, a pre-built building from Backman Syncraft or Hormy Scaledale, whatever is available. You can see it here. Obviously, that's is planned to get black ball fine ballast suitable for N gauge to be layered over the tracks, as you can see here, and also for where this brush is up to the buffer here. This here is going to be our good shed. Now I have a little cameo idea on what I'm going to do. So to, we'll figure that out when the time gets near. The in, the middle siding here is going to plan to be a terminus platform, which with this building here, this area here is going to be where our station is going to be. It can accommodate up to four coaches or three coaches and one engine. Of course, I haven't decided on that matter, but uh, the train you can see back there, it can accommodate five coach trains. So actually, let's go and have a look at the loop. As you can see, there are three loops on this line here. The outer loop, as you can see, can accommodate up to a large engine and five coaches. The inner loop, which I'm intending to do a goods train in the middle loop, I think you can do about six wagons and one engine and then the inner loop as you can see here where my city of Truro is parked up with my Tidville Thunderbolt sets. It took a lot of time to get this built <coughs> to collect. In a few minutes I'll give you a bit of a running session to see how things get going. Now in here now where these vintage buses are this is where it's hoping to be planned a bus depot to now no backman do have a bus depot building which I can use which can be used on this and we're hoping we get a good vintage bus collection which we got here now this may look very familiar to you compared to the full size this locomotive has been escorted on the haulier truck on the haulier lorry there I know it's not Reed or Alley Freights or Smith's, but it was the best truck I got available. A Stobart with a suitable trailer can accommodate a locomotive, which is ideal with this tank engine, but engines can differ over time. These buildings here are only temporarily until they get some new ones done. Over here, where you can see the fire appliance, which is the famous Dennis, as seen on London's Burning, and even on the side on the doors, it's got Blackwall, Blackwall Fire Station, made member of London's Burning. 
and also there is an ambulance, which we plan to do an emergency service building, suitable for the ambulance and the fire brigade. So that, of course, we'll give you a little bit of update shortly on that. Now over here is the bridge, which is based exactly the same as Weybourne on the North Norfolk Railway, which is already passed its gauge and tests. The, the far line will accommodate coaches, and the inner line, as you can see, will accommodate the goods trains on there. One of the pre-built buildings we already got, as you can see here, is the Midsummer Norton Signal Box, which we acquired from the Somerset and Dorset Heritage Trust, which I have had this on my mind for quite some time now, and it looks absolutely magnificent. It'll be ideal with the S&D engine alongside it, which we do have an S&D engine on this layout already which is Sir Keith Park, as you can see here, alongside Flying Scotsman. Now, as you've seen the full-size counterpart, that's now on the Spa Valley Railway. That has actually worked on the S&D in steam days during its time. Anyway, enough of me talking. Let's see some of these trains running. Well, as you can see here, this is the early phase of the scratch building project to be done as the emergency service station. This is going to be the only scratch build idea project on this layout. See, the roof is taking shape, mostly with cardboard and some lolly sticks. There's still a long way to go on this. It's been heavily secured by the fine ballast, which I will be using for around the engine shed and the goods shed and also PVA glue, which also will help out later in due course during this project. But the scratch building is currently taking shape with the roof. It's just drying out at the moment. The ballasting idea will be our next major project, part of this project. Ballasting the line here, and I have been following all of YouTube advice and all video contents, particularly Richard of New Junction. Of course, the link will be in the description below. So if you haven't subscribed to him yet, make sure you subscribe and turn the notifications on. And see, check out New Junction. Of course, up to up to about here will be grey grey ballast, grey ballast, because going into this terminus platform here, and also in this siding here will be where the goods shed is. As I said earlier, this will be black fine ballast going up to here and then going into the engine shed so that's the idea for the ballasting anyway that's enough for the layout we'll discuss a little bit more and that's the update we have for the model railway project at the moment now do now the update to have future model railway content will be transferred onto this channel now from now on. I'm not sure what I'm going to do with the current model railway channel, but I'll figure that out when the time gets near. So from future model railway updates and videos, such as going to model railway shows or whatever, they'll be transferred back over to my main channel from the future. Hopefully we'll be back out filming the full size counterparts in the future in April. And whatever that is, we'll let you on that. Hey, thank you all so much for your support during this current pandemic and awful lockdown periods. I really appreciate all your support and your comments. And make sure you hit the like button, subscribe and turn on the notifications on so you'll be right up to date for when the newest content will be made available. So thank you all so much for watching. Take care and stay safe. Goodbye.